Why am I spitting noodles everywhere? Yeah, God, it's like, dang. Uh, uh. Am I the gross one of the crew? I mean. Every chef knows there are unbreakable rules in the kitchen, but what happens when you actually break those rules? Do the food gods rain fiery vengeance upon you and your family, or are they just arbitrary myths peddled from chef to chef just waiting to be broken? To find out, this highly trained team of super serious culinary professionals are putting them to the test. Because this is Meat Munchers! Kitcheneers, today we'll be <laughs> Bit all over. Sorry, us. I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Oh my god. Can we get a wipe? Can we get a wipe? Kitcheneers, today we'll be busting myths centered around pasta. There are many myths about pasta. Today we'll be focusing on four of them. The first, you must boil your water before you add the pasta. Who knows if you need to? They also say you gotta salt your pasta water, salty like the ocean. BS, I say. Myth number three, you gotta add oil to your water to prevent it from sticking. Might be nonsense, might be true today. We will find out. Number four. You gotta saute your pasta instead of just topping it. What? I won't hit you, I won't hit you. <laughs> Do you feel prepared to take on the challenges? I, is that a I, it's rhetorical like question? Kind of like, I feel yeah. like you should. It's like, we're really just boiling yes, pasta. We're, we're here. Like, we're, we're like yeah. culinary we're What else do you have to do today? All right, so let's check out the game plan here. So let's check out the game plan. So first up, I have to fight Jake Paul. Uh, I just, you know, I really want to do it. He's been out there. I feel like I got the skills. You know, I got the ingenuity. Also, this picture is definitely of him when he was 16. Yeah. So I feel like I could easily beat 16-year-old Jake Paul. But anyways, this is something that I need to do. This is more of a personal journey. does not concern you. Uh, though I do want V as my cut man in the corner. You got to cut me, V. All right, the plan here. Boiling water versus room temp water. We're going to start one pot with room temp water. See if you can just add the spaghetti. And you know, we're all busy. we got things to do. Do you really need to wait for it to boil? Who knows? We'll figure it out. Step number two, unsalted versus normal salted versus the thing that every single Italian American chef on Food Network, I see you, Giada Di Laurentiis, says you gotta do, which is make it salty like the ocean. So we're gonna try three different salinity levels to see what creates the most delicious pasta. Number three, with oil, without oil. You see, you gotta add oil to stop it from sticking. I don't know if that's true. You don't know if that's true. We're about to find out. Step number four, tossing versus topping. If you go to the old school Italian restaurants, they don't, they don't saute the pasta, they just put the sauce on top and then you get a quarter cup of water in the bottom. And I like that. I like to be able to drink my plate of pasta afterwards. <laughs> but we'll see if there's anything scientifically that we can like actually glean from the process of tossing versus topping. Are you ready to munch some mitts? Yeah! yeah All always. right. Okay, well, well here, yeah. so everyone write down, take a card, write down what your predictions are. At the end, uh, the winner will get my fantasy football trophy from 2018 that I never gave back. You have not given us no, you writing you utensils. V, you eat a lot of spaghetti. I love spaghetti. I love all pastas. I'm a spaghetti fan too. What's your method? What do you typically do? Are you talking about now or when I was a kid? Because when I was a kid, I would just break this no. and put it into boiling water. That's the thing that like Italians will not stand for. We are not trying to have all the Italian grandmas in the world yell at us. Uh, but now you don't break it. You wait for the water to boil, right? Yes, I do. That's like a thing that you know, you've always been told, don't drop the pasta in, you gotta wait for it to boil. It takes about eight minutes of water to boil. Spaghetti takes about 10 minutes to cook. We're using three liters of water here to eight ounces of spaghetti. So we got one going right now that's at a rolling boil. Should we just do it? Should we drop the spaghetti? Yeah, in? why not? All right, cool, 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 let's do it. So we, I can't, I can't break them. Uh, don't, don't break them, don't Can break them. Can I break one? The Italian, do you want to Can I break up? one? If, you, if she breaks a single strand of pasta, no, were you the eat dry pasta kid? Oh, that adds up. So much about you makes sense now they know you eat dry pasta. I use it as a toothpick. I used to like, you know, just tick my teeth with it. I can't do that right now. All right, open, open the lid, drop the I'm pasta in. Stop eating that. That's going to give you digestive issues. It makes issues. me feel like a real Italian. It's going to give you the tummy bubbles. <laughs> okay, I'll put it Is away. Is that what you think real I'm Italian? I'm going to hide it for later. All right, so I'm going to drop the pasta in. Uh, we're not breaking it. No oil. The water's unsalted. This is just to test out the cook time on it. All we're going to do, we're going to toss it in some parm, a little bit of Ooh. butter, just so we can get like the pure pasta taste. We're letting it go for 10 minutes, uh, but the best way to check pasta, the doneness for me, you pick it up, you pinch it, you make sure there's no white in the middle. Oh, see, do do? no. Oh, do you throw it no. against the wall? I throw it against the wall, and then if it falls, you know, it's not ready. We're doing a mini Myth Munchers where V just starts throwing spaghetti at the camera. You're like, it's not done. It's not done. Ivy, so this is done. This took 10 minutes to boil. This took 24 minutes overall when you factor in the time it took for the water to boil. This is 22 minutes right now, and I think it's done, but we got to test to see if it's done. Yeah, you know how we do that, right? You're going to throw this? Yes, I am. Here, take that, take that, take that. Ah! Okay, are we doing it together? Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> wow. It's done though. It it's stick, done. No, it's, it's done. done. There we go. It's stuck. It's done. It's done. it's done. it's done. Clean up, Trevor. Strain that. Strain that. Strain that. So all we're gonna do now is we're just gonna toss. So why did I put my hand over the flame? Why was that my first instinct? I'm just gonna heat this up a little bit, and then we're just gonna toss it. 
and a little bit. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter. And then we got 30 grams of Parmesan cheese. Why 30 grams of Parmesan cheese? Well, that is the level of Parmesan cheese in the Mediterranean Sea. There are 30 grams per thousand uh, milliliters of water. Okay, I'm back. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, toss two tablespoons of butter and that thing of Parmesan in there and then just like give it a stir. Two things. We just wanna like melt the butter. Just to, like Damn. give us like, give us something nice. You know, I don't have nice chopstick. Pasta. Oh yeah, also I exclusively cook and eat noodles with chopsticks. It doesn't matter uh, what culture the noodles are from. I just think noodles taste best with chopsticks exclusively. Okay, now we throw in this Parmesan. Yeah, throw in the Parm, give it a toss. I Were like, you a butter noodle person? You know, I was a sauce person and I didn't put anything in my sauce. It was just straight, just. Dude, I would just I would just dump prego, prego, uh, olive oil, and Italian herbs. Such a good store bought tomato sauce. But I always judge the kids who would order butter noodles at restaurants. I never did. Should we try this? Yeah, yeah. This looks more proper than this one. Yeah, that just looks cleaner. Should we try this one first? Yeah. Dude, wait, you have to do like the no, the I don't twirl. No, no, I don't thing. twirl. I do it like a hurried person eating ramen for lunch. Oh. I take it and I go. I thought you were gonna show me your perfect swirl. See, I like to dig in there and get a whole load. Can I get more parm? Where's the parm at? I want more. The cook on it isn't bad. Like I dropped a noodle in there. Is that cool? <laughs> Are you no okay with that? It. No one's eating it. The cook on it's not bad. I wouldn't taste that and be like, this is a crappily cooked pasta, but I'm curious to see if the one where we started with the boiling water is better. I gotta put my noodles down. Why did you take so why am I spitting noodles everywhere? Yeah, God, it's like dang. Uh, uh. Am I the gross one of the crew? I mean I was let's rubbing some nudes. I was rubbing lubriderm on my back in the kitchen this morning, so maybe. All right, now let's okay, try the right. one where it was boiled. See, I like, I like all the noodles. Why are you slurping it like that? It's supposed to slurp noodles, it makes me taste better, try it. You sound like you're eating a bug. Yeah, I'm like a Hoover, I'm like a Roomba. I go grab This one? I don't. Yeah, I'm the gross one, huh? I think I'm going for this one. Yeah, this is definitely, this is more uniformly cooked. This you get like, it's pretty noticeable how extra squishy the outside is. So I think the water didn't have a chance to like penetrate. That said, it is pretty close. When you look at time though, if you're doing this, if you're not boiling your water first, just to save time, you only save two minutes. If you're like trying to like, oh, I want to hop in the bath, get home, toss your pasta in the water, then turn on the heat. It's not that big of a difference, but for sure this one is squishier. This one definitely has more bite to it. I don't even love al dente noodles, but this one the cook is just flat out more even. Ivy, so definitively we are going mm -hmm. with boiling water. Boiling water. Start your water boiling, makes the pasta more even. Uh, yeah, we gotta yeah, get yeah. the information to Nicole and Trevor. Yeah. Uh, they're with over this in- secret mason jar right here. You're gonna fart it's in the jar? No, but they're gonna have spaghetti breath in there. Nicole, we have hey. a mason jar. Yeah. I wonder if there's a message inside. Does it smell? <laughs> okay. Is it a All right. So jar? V said boiled water. Josh says you owe him three bucks, and Josh also farted in. Oh my god! I can't so, believe it. So good thing it's boiling water, because conveniently we have three pots yes, of boiling water do. here. So are you excited to salt some pasta water? I am. I tend to be a medium salter. I don't believe in Me too. personally. The thing is, whenever they say salty like the sea, I don't really know what that means. But I like to think that just means like really, really salty. But I don't like my pasta water too salty. Yeah, I don't drink ocean water. So yeah. Means one time I did, and it was really bad. I had to go to the doctor afterwards. <laughs> the doctor. Because I was at, what is, what's the beach? Santa Monica Beach? Oh, yeah, don't drink the water in the Santa Monica Pier. Like. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole, for the public <laughs> service announcement telling people not to drink the water from the ocean in Santa Monica. Yeah, it's really bad. You get little bugs in there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we got three different levels of salinity right in front of us. So we're going to do an unsalted water. Unsalt. <laughs> Unsalted. And then we have slightly salted water, which is 12 grams per liter, which is equates to three liters of water, which is 12 times three. You get, uh, you got it. Oh my God, I have really you bad anxiety. No, you got it, you got it, I believe 36, in 36, 36. 36, that's And then correct. we got hella salted, which is actually inspired by the Mediterranean Ocean. Is that a what? Is it's that an ocean? not an ocean. It's a, it's a sea. Mediterranean Sea. I swear I'm smart. So it's the Mediterranean Sea, which is 38 grams per liter, which is 38 times three. I can't do that in my head. How long are we boiling this for, do you reckon? Nine to 11 minutes. Cool, so what do you want to do for like eight minutes? I don't know, what do you want to do? <laughs> You play rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, are you ready? Do you go on shoot or do you just go on? I can scissors? do either, I'm flexible. Okay, let's go on way. rock, paper, scissors, okay? Okay, scissors. Yeah, on scissors. Okay, rock, paper, scissors. Frick! Yeah, get wrecked. Hey, where'd you get that dry pasta from? I thought you where'd used I get it the, We got like 30 pounds of pasta in the kitchen. That's what do you mean? We're doing pasta mess. What do you mean where I get the dry pasta from? Tell them the joke. Goofball. Tell them the joke. Tell them the joke? Why don't we drain this pasta and I'll tell them the joke. Hey, do you want to know why they call it alimony? Because my ex-wife takes all of my money. <laughs> 
<laughs> Unbelievable, man. It's my favorite. Anytime I put a dry pasta noodle in my mouth, I immediately start talking like a like an Italian. Like your more. name should be Vincenzo or something. Yeah, named Donnie Vincenzo. <laughs> no, the first name is Vincenzo. What? What kind of first name is Vin Vinny? Vinny comes from Vincenzo. Is no, this your first I rodeo? think that's ridiculous. Butter? Yeah. Two, got a butter. Two. Two. Yeah. That's Dude, what that's they did. Of, that's a lot of butter. I know, that's what they did. And the cheese. Hey, Nicole, what kind of cheese is this? Parmesan? Is it oh Parmigiano Reggiano? He does this every day. This is no, this is unsalted. Unsalted, Yeah, correct. pretty sure this is gonna be poo-poo. Yeah, poo-poo. If my Tastes like a poo-poo. Yeah, tastes like a poo. -poo. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Can I spit it out? Yeah, for sure. This is so bland. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for me. Normal salt. Oh, I got like three noodles. It's okay, it's enough. Mm-hmm. That's a lovely pasta. Delicious. I mean, that's just beautiful. Mm-hmm. That's just, mm. Goes down easy. Bellissima. Love it. Okay, hella salty. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. It's oh my. kind of delicious, but I can't eat more than one piece of it. Oh my God. Yeah. You can like feel it. That yeah. is so salty. I mean, it's obvious. Like, yeah. inedible, inedible, Oop. so much Perfect. edible. Perfect, so edible. Edible af. It's as edible as it gets. Yes, agreed. Should we let him know? Yeah, let him know. You have like a, oh, what is that? Oh, you'll see. The you want to be in the mythical yeah. kitchen, you gotta learn how to fight. We're yeah. gonna count this. Jab, go, cross, go, duck, go, uppercut, again. Yeah. Jab, cross, yeah. duck, yeah. uppercut, yeah. again. Wait. Jab, Wait. cross, duck, yeah. uppercut. Wait. Now work the body, yeah. now work the body. Yeah. All right, yeah. um, so we... <laughs> I'm tired now. <laughs> Me too, I'm out of breath, I was yelling a lot. So we got, we got this. This. What, they gave it's, us a bowl of soup. It has letters in it. Sal Ted, who's Ted? Ted. That's the name of our boxing gym. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to Sal and Ted's boxing gym, I'm Sal. All right, so salted one, so this is not salty like the ocean. Oh man, I wanted to eat the. No, I'm good. Oh, what is that soup called? It is not good. Uh, oh God. Oh God. So now we're testing the myth of all versus no all. So people say you gotta put all in your in your, in your pasta water so it doesn't stick together. We got the all. salted water already boiling here. Do people know that original reference? Which one? All? George Foreman? Welcome oh. to Monarchy All Care. My aunties say oil. They all live in the East Coast and they go, oh, be happy to all. <laughs> I'm gonna drop a tablespoon of oil in here, drop your pasta in that water. I'm dropping my pasta in this. They say the oil helps it not stick together. I don't know if that's true. You know George Foreman named all of his sons George? Oh, that's just... I can see you pulling that. Why would I do that? Having nine little VNAs running around? That's too many <laughs> no, unfamiliar you names. What are you naming your kids? Oh man, I have a whole Tell, list. Oh my God, girl dish. Oh my God, the first one for my girls is Cleo. Oh, so cute. And then oh I God. have Mozzie, okay. Mozzie's adorable. And then on the boy side, I have Namir and Niall. Oh no, that's a, that's the girl side, sorry. I'm gonna name all my children after famous literary characters. Okay, so give me some throw Alex DeLarge from A Clockwork Orange. Uh, Baruch no, from, no. he's an angel. Um, Timon from The Lion King, the oh, book version of it, the that, book version of The Lion King. That's the only good one, uh, yeah. Jesus. From the Bible, I I do know about the Bible. Yeah, yeah. I'm, so I'm just gonna have Jesus running around. Yeah, okay. Yeah, my kids are gonna be super well adjusted. All right, so let's check out to see if the noodles are actually not sticking in the oil. Let's check out the okay. unoiled. Is there any clumpage here? Mm. Not really. It's kind of just spaghetti. Not really. You don't need the oil in it to not clump it. You just need to like not overcrowd your spaghetti pot. Let's check out the oiled one. If anything, Ooh, I mean. They just it's, look Pretty. It's like pretty though. They look glossy. They're definitely getting some sheen on it from the oil. We'll see what it tastes like. See if it tastes any different. As far as not clumping though, oil doesn't really seem to do much. Just like put enough water in your sketty, you dum dum. Yeah. Sorry, I called you stupid. We got the pasta drained. This is no oil. This is yes oil. Didn't okay. really stop it from sticking together. It, it no. didn't really stick together naturally. Let's see if it did anything to the taste. Yes. My chopsticks. Are you gonna do the slurp? Still are, getting Are you gonna do the slurp? Too. Yeah, slurp it. Salt really makes so much difference in your pasta water. Wow. That tastes so much better than the first one that we did. Yeah, like way better. That's great. I'm having a lovely time. V, I'm having a great time. Good for this you, rules. yeah. All right, so that was no oil. Let's try the oil one, see if it did anything. I don't know. I don't know. This one's kind of doing it for me right now. Are you tasting any difference? Yeah, I can taste the oil in these. I actually taste it this That's time. That's so funny, yeah. I taste more. Parmesan cleans these noodles, and this one, when you slurp it, it kind of like greases through the slurp. Which is fun. So it it just makes it smoother when you actually mm. slurp it up. I yeah. like this one better. I just literally a coating on this that I think the oil didn't help it. I'm going no oil. No oil. All right, so definitively, 
no oil wins. Definitely. Right, let's do it. Let's okay, do it. We got to okay, get okay. Nicole and Trevor okay. back. Got to get my trusty telephone. Ring, ring, ring. Uh, yes, you guys need to come back to the kitchen. Thank you. Tell them to get me two Frosties. Uh, no Frosties for No, Josh, get two Frosties, two large fries. No oil, please. Be, I swear. Hold the oil on the Frosty. I hate this place. Kitcheneers, through hot, nasty, badass science, we have determined the best way to cook a scabetti noodle. Now, we all we've been doing is butter and parm, but now we, we gotta talk about sauce. We gotta talk about topping versus tossing. Growing up, I exclusively ate top spaghetti. No tossing, but now that I'm a foodie, I always saute my pasta in the sauce. That said, I don't actually know which one tastes better, so we all have our rolls. Nicole, you're going to ladle some of that on top of the topping pastas, then V, you're gonna grate cheese on that. Trevor, what's going on with you? I am the Wolverine. Trevor's gonna keep being the Wolverine, and then we're gonna top all that, and then I'm gonna take this year's spaghetti, and I'm gonna <laughs> toss it into the sauce, and we're gonna saute it a little bit. Is there a reason why you say it like that? What's spaghetti? Yeah, yeah, I don't that's think what I'm it's called. Josh doesn't know how to say spaghetti. But the theory is that when you saute the pasta in the sauce, the sauce actually clings to the pasta, it cooks into it a little bit more, it emulsifies. Mm. Go for it. Oh, you want me to do it? Go all right. It, yeah. So we're just gonna bloop, bloop, bloop all that spaghetti in there. We're gonna turn on the heat. Mm. And we're just gonna toss it around a little bit. V, more cheese. V, more cheese. Okay, don't, I, don't, I was gonna ask. How don't much skip on the do cheese. Want? This is me beating don't up you, Magneto. You know you have two lackeys right here? Trevor's uh, not a lackey, he's a goon because he's was, got weapons. What? I was talking about him. him. Put me in the conversation. You're guys. just in a white shirt next to a splattering spaghetti I sauce. Know, Have I, fun. I got bell sticks. <laughs> I gotta kind of roll this. In. I am loaded. I'm just gonna load the cheese. Yeah, well, that's good. That's good. That's good. I used to saute all the time, but now this is like nostalgic to me, and I feel like it's gonna be really delicious. It's really iconic. Like, this is Americana. Yeah, if you were to like style, spaghetti for like a sitcom, you'd make it look like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Not all tossed in the sauce, all fancy. No, no, no. That would be like for an HBO Max, like a stars thing, stars. but this is so much stars. more like it's a stars pasta and you put it in Nicole there and you'd shirt. like, you'd like do that little thing and they're like, pay $12.99 for stars. Who there you go. Who stars? I do watch Hello? stars. All right. So, oh God, splattering, Nicole, it's splattering. All right, so we're just gonna dish out the pasta and V, grate some cheese on that. We gotta be scientifically accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got it. before we were like measuring and now we're just like, grate the cheese. Yeah, because- Trevor's a Wolverine. Yeah, because mm. this is more of like, you know, cheese. this is a preference, mm. this is a preference part. This is a preference yeah. thing. Yeah. And also, I just wanted to eat some good old red sauce spaghetti. When you make spaghetti at home, did you, did you all grow up with top spaghetti? Uh, tossed. What toss? Spaghetti. Both of you tossed? Yeah, yeah tossed. Mama if you tossed. ate spaghetti, like, did you eat it like that or like that? I don't remember. I much eat it with a childhood. fork. You just repressed all those memories. I don't know that I repressed them more that I have the memory of a goldfish. Which one do you want to try first? Which one looks more inviting to you? Oh, 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 you guys probably thought, wow, I've been breathing easy for a myth muncher shoot. Nope, we got to top it with a little bit of Tony Sashery's. Why is it on the big hole? Why is what? it on the big hole? We got to get the yeah, big, yeah, hole. Gonna, big, big hole, big hole, big hole. You're gonna dump it. Big hole always. That's what my daddy told me. Can we cut that? What should we start with? Top? Let's start, let's start with top. Let's start with top. Like, I kind of like the fact that you get the plain too. spaghetti with the sauce. Like when you, I don't want to like, mm. you know, toss my Panda Express with the rice. <laughs> That's a totally wrong genre. Mouse, round sound, huh? Are you uncomfortable? <laughs> Honestly, not really. I'm used to it at this point. If I get sauce on my face, though, I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> It's a not nice spaghetti. Yet. That's a good skitter. Took all the energy in my body not to spit spaghetti right in your mouth. Spit that way. That's good spaghetti. Mm hmm Really good. That's some good spaghetti. <laughs> all right, sauteed. See if you can like really taste the difference, taste the sauce mixed in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that one disturbed me. What? What is going on? You need a napkin. Uh, well, well, hold on. Can I just exhibit A? Here's what I want. You get a quarter cup of water in the bottom of your spaghetti, and then you can kind of so a bit like a soup. I, I want to hear. I want to hear all your opinions first. I prefer tossing because I think it's a more cohesive meal. I can eat more of it faster, and my body gets nutrients faster. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm definitely for the tossing. I just like everything mixed up together, mm -hmm. and then you know I gotta. Yeah, this is the best part. Oh, uh, it's my right? turn. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I like uh, tossing because realistically, if it's topped for me, I'm literally just gonna mix it in anyway. Yeah. This this is so much better. This is very nostalgic. It still tastes really good. But literally, when you slurp, I don't know if you noticed, I slurped a little bit. <laughs> you, you like literally feel the water coming off the pasta when you cook uh -huh. it together. The sauce starts to absorb into the pasta. It just it makes it such a better product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this we are all unanimous tossing, sautéing your pasta in the sauce. That's the winner. Yeah. Hundo P. One. 100%. Kitcheneers, all the myths have been munched, all the pasta has been eaten, and here we find ourselves with some final answers. We found out you probably should start with the boiling water, made the pasta nice, cooked evenly. You should salt it, not hella salted like the Mediterranean Sea, 
But salting your pasta water does make a huge difference. We found out that oil absolute myth that got munched right out of this world. Don't need to put oil in it. And also tossing your pasta, sauteing it in the sauce really does help versus topping. Trevor, what have you predicted? At room temp water, we got salted, normal salted, with oil and tossing. So I got tossing and salted right. Pretty upset with my performance today. I'll try to come back, you know, harder next time uh, for all the swag gang out there. I love you guys. Thank you for always supporting me. Ha <laughs> ha, mighty effort indeed. And Nicole. I believe that boiling the water, salting the water, not putting oil in the water, and tossing it in the sauce is the winning combination. Not to brag, but I got it all right! What? Boiling, salting without oil and tossing. How Cheated. can you follow up that? Well, rub a dub dub V, what say you? Boiling water, salted with oil and tossing the sauce. So I just got one wrong. Ask, ask. Oh, Josh, what did you guess? Oh my God, Nicole, wow, I'm so glad you asked. My name's Nicole, and today's winning dish will be unboiled, lightly salted, no oil, and topping. <laughs> Is that a good Nicole? I got two out of four. Nicole, you are the grand myth munching champion. You get my fantasy football trophy <gasps> from the Del Playas Club 2018 championship, drafted Mahomes on a lark. It worked out, I will deliver Where that to you. Where is it? Do you want to? Get it from my apartment. You're gonna give it to me, a present that I won today, tomorrow? Yeah, but you don't get to keep it, you just hold it for this a day. This is so Well, everybody, thank you so much for helping us bust pasta myths out here. Now I know what you're thinking, pasta. Boiling spaghetti, one of the hardest dishes in the world. And I know sometimes it can be intimidating, but <laughs> when you have good friends by your side, good food on the table, any myth can be munched. And that's from us here to you. Welcome to Thunderdome. Thanks so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes for you every week. We got, <laughs> oh, Trevor, you rascal. New episodes of our podcast, The Hot Dog is a Sandwich, every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcasts. Hit us up on Instagram, it's Trevor OK, at Mythical Kitchen, pictures of your mythical dishes under Dreams Become Food. We'll see you next time, except for Trevor, because I think he's dead. <laughs> what happened? I just heard a crash and a yelp. Don't worry about it. The Mythical Trucker hat is literally the only hat I wear, and I swear to you I'm not just saying that, because this is an ad. Go get yours at mythical.com.